Hello, my name's Fraser Chadburn. I'm a specialist in model-based system engineering and Rhapsody in particular. And I haven't done a video for a while, but this was quite interesting, so I thought I'd spin one up. Uh, and that's looking at views and viewpoints, both within Rhapsody as a tool, which has some really powerful features. For example, I'm able to filter diagrams to only show certain elements and filter the browser as well. So it, it's a powerful feature which enables me to capture variation within a model. But actually using it can be quite difficult because there's a combination of custom views, queries, and views and viewpoints which, um, which support this within the tool and also are part of the SysML standard in some cases. So let's just have a look at it. And I'm, I'm gonna use the SysML helper version, which is my latest which has some support for it. So let's just have a quick look. So here's my profile blog and you can, my latest at this time, obviously it may be later by the time you get here, is 42A. And this feature for views and viewpoints was in 41E. And you see there's a few enhancement requests that I've done for it. So let's have a look at Rhapsody now and I'll just create a model from scratch just show you how it works. So I'll call, a, I'll call this my uh, viewpoint2 model and I'm going to create it with my executable MBSC profile 42A and that just the, the intent of the executable MBSC profile is to speed up model creation and also to accelerate a methodology for creating models. There's actually two different paths you can take, but they both start with requirement analysis. So let's just create a use case structure with this. Speeds up setting the model, sets some properties in the model here, and gives me a dialog that will enable me to produce a, uh, a use case diagram. And this is for the homeowner to mouse a trap. Okay, well, that's not very useful, is it? That's a uh, homeowner. Is going to trap a mouse and they may also set a trap and the system of interest is a mouse trap uh, and the accelerator here will will create an activity diagram with a template and I've got a little helper here to create a requirement trace to an action and I'll add another action and a control flow. So what I've done is add a menu to the right click to add elements on a diagram to a view. So this will be add to view. Now to do that I need views in the project and these are part of the SysML standard. So the executable MBSC profile here is extending the SysML base profile of Rhapsody with some additional menus and uh, user-defined types. But views are part of the standard SysML meta model. So I've actually got a helper here, not just to create a view, but actually a structure that contains a viewpoint query and, a, and in Rhapsody, a custom view for tailoring diagrams. So this is stuff you could manually do, but I have automated with this helper. So now I've got a view which conforms to a viewpoint and that means if I establish relations from the view to model elements they'll be included in the viewpoint. So let's add these elements to the view now. There's only one here and my helpers allow me to pick one that's there. Uh, as with all of executable MBSE profile helpers there's always a dialogue that pops up before it actually changes the model and gives you an indication of what it's going to do. So it's establishing these import relationships from the view to the elements. And the, it's a relationship to the model element, not the relationship to the diagram, which is quite an important difference. And you can see I've auto set up a custom view here, which has got uh, a query to only include the elements that have import uh, part of that viewpoint. So let's just now tailor the diagram. So that's now showing me a filtered view of the diagram with just elements that have those import relationships. 
So that's pretty cool. But I'm just going to go one step further now and just show you what can be nice, which is um, to actually apply a format. So I'm going to go to the features of the custom view and I'm going to add a new format for actions to highlight them in pink. I'll just put a, a fill color as well, which is uh, beautifully pink. And I'll do the same for the other elements on the diagram. Now this, this can take a while the first time you do it, but once you've done it on the custom view, then it will affect all of the diagrams in the same way. So let's look at a requirement and make that pink as well. So if you don't like pink, you could have a different color. Uh, because I know I'm going to demo this, I'm also going to highlight or color use cases. Uh, my, um, my practice clicking here will speed this up. Use cases and maybe actors. So we'll just save that formatting onto that custom view. And now if I click that query, then those elements have that color. And I've also got a custom view here to show all the elements. So I can say, well, those are the highlighted elements. So if I come to my use case diagram and you know I highlight these two, I could add them to the view. That establishes the relationships in the model. And then my custom view is going to filter to those elements. Now at the moment I'm doing this individually on each diagram. But, so let me just clear those custom views and I'll show you this thing in the browser. So I've got this ability to filter the browser to just show me elements that are in the custom view. And this is the, the idea that a viewpoint in SysML is a particular perspective that a user may have of elements in a model. And you know, a, a requirement engineer will be interested in use cases and requirements. So this is a, a these views support that viewpoint or they conform to that viewpoint. Now this custom view at the bottom of the browser is a is standard RAPSD feature that allows you to filter the browser and the diagrams all at the same time. So if I highlight all elements, Pink Panther query, and click apply on all diagrams, then it's going to filter the diagrams. So I can just flick between them. And you can imagine the, in a model, you could set up multiple different views to support the identification of elements that have particular interest. And that might be something for a demo. It might be something which is a variation or things you've added for a feature that you want to support within a review. So the, the flexibility here is, is quite powerful at supporting a number of different use cases. But in this particular need, uh, the customer wanted some, some better support for variation. So this is what I've done. I've got this structure to be auto created and I could manually do it but trying to speed it up means that I can access the very high end features of Rhapsody in a very quick way. Now if you've never seen the executable MESE profile let me just finish off by showing you how to get it if you wanted to try. So this is my blog the executablemse.com and you can see that the profile is on GitHub so if I download the source code um, then this and the SysML helper profile has a root folder called SysML helper and the executable MBSE profile is part of that. You see the SysML helper is more than just one profile but the executable MBSE profile is the main one. There's also this meta modeling profile I use to create the executable MBSE profile and that's all bundled in there and this business value profile. So all different instances of profiles which all share the same helpers and source code. So it's like a family. And then if I wanted to put that within my installation, then I would copy that root folder 
and I would paste it into my profiles folder and then I can then add the profile to a model. Uh, it's expected to be a SysML model though and, um, and go from there. So hope that helps and if you do have any questions let me know.